Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain sync selector in CRO followed by sampling oscilloscope. <coughs> so this is the block diagram of uh, synchronous signal generator in CRO internal section. Same similar kind of trigger how we have generated in the trigger plus same similarly we will generate the synchronization signal for this uh, CRO sweeps. So input signal that is applied here whatever the signal you are going to view on the CRT screen that is applied here as an input to the vertical amplifier. So the output of this vertical amplifier is given to vertical reflection plates delay line through the vertical reflection plates and next vertical amplifier signal the same signal is given to the switch at the input of this pulse generator. I already told you there are two types of uh, three types of waveforms that we have external signal internal signal generator another one is the line supply line supply is nothing but the ac voltage that is given to the trick uh, what is that uh, electron gun to energize that is like a 6.3 volts ac supply we are giving so how the 6.3 volts is generated by stepping down so 230 volts that is the uh, plug voltage our ac supply <coughs> house voltage uh, that 230 voltage is going to be stepped down to 6.3 volts EAC at 50 H. So this 6.3 volts is taken as a line supply for this switch. So internal signal that is coming from this output of vertical amplifier. And externally we can also give this signal. So external, internal and line. Switch can select any one of these three. <coughs> the output of this one is passing through a sync pulse generator and then to the horizontal switch generator. Okay. So in this way we can select the synchronous signal. The purpose of synchronous signal is uh, we can un better understand in the case of sampling oscilloscope what is the purpose of sync selector. So next one is sampling oscilloscope very very important sampling oscilloscope. The name clearly tells that sampling oscilloscope oscilloscope is to display the signal. Sampling is nothing but it display sampling is nothing but it, it displays part of the input in signal. It displays the part of the signal, samples of the signal. We can write it as it displays displays samples of samples of input signal. In the previous case, we have seen dual beam oscilloscope, dual trace oscilloscope. These type of oscilloscopes can generate directly the signal what you are going to uh, view directly the same or entire signal going to be displayed but here in the sampling oscilloscope only samples of the signal are going to be displayed okay so let us see the block diagram and how the samples are going to be selected in the output waveform you can better understand the block diagram operation with parallel to the output waveforms <coughs> see this is the where it is this is the input signal what you are going to display on the CRT screen that we are giving to the vertical section. Whatever the signal, any type of oscillator much we have to give the input signal always to the vertical reflection system only. Horizontal reflection system always a sweep circuit. See here the input signal what you are going to observe that is applied here at the sampling gate. The output of the sampling gate is given to vertical amplifier and then given to the vertical reflection plates. Okay. Now you should know about this sampling gate. Sampling gate here, it selects the samples of input signal. I told you already, this oscilloscope generates, uh, displays samples of input signal. So sampling gate has to be used here. What is the purpose of sampling gate here? You might have studied this concept in pulse and digital circuits. It is a topic in PDC subject, pulse and digital circuit, sampling gate. Whenever it's like a gate like your uh, house or any office, school or college gates. What a gate will do? Suppose it's a gate. Okay. So here one watchman is there. Watchman here, he works like a sampling pulse. Watchman here, he works like a sampling pulse. What is the purpose of this sampling pulse? Whenever the input, like you are going to the college with an ID card. So that ID card, suppose the purpose of this security guard is to check, security guard is to check the incoming person, whether the person is authorized person or unauthorized person. How to check this person, whether authorized or unauthorized by using an ID card. 
okay so if he wears in a college id card then what a security guard will do security guard will open the gate will open the gate and the student or corresponding person can go inside okay so the purpose of security guard is to open the gate whenever the authorized person is coming inside suppose if the person is unauthorized and he doesn't have an id valid id card then his gate is simply closed <coughs> Here the purpose of sampling gate is also same. This is the sampling gate in our example. This is the sampling gate and the security guard acting like a sampling pulse. Security guard acts like a sampling pulse. See here. So sampling pulse, whenever the sampling pulse occurred during this period only the gate opens and the input signal will be transferred to the output. And in the remaining period, what happens? there is no signal going to the vertical amplifier in the remaining period no signal goes so simply the entire system is off okay so here the entire operation completely deals how to generate deals with the how to generate a sampling pulse here okay sampling gate purpose is to open and close that's it like it's a gate simply to open and close but when it is open whenever the sampling pulse is occurred in the, uh, in the remaining cases when there is no sampling pulse occurred simply the gate is closed so the entire operation the remaining part of the system the remaining part of the block diagram like voltage comparator staircase generator ramp generator and oscillator trigger input all these are working for the generation of the sampling pulse hope you understand okay Sampling pulse generation is the task here. Sampling gate is just a simple operation. Whenever sampling pulse is generated, it opens and sends the signal to the other end. And here the entire remaining operation is completely focusing on how to generate the sampling pulse. See, to generate a sampling pulse, we are using a system that is voltage comparator, voltage comparator, ramp generator, state case generator, and an oscillator if you see the name staircase generator it is a generator it itself generating the signal ramp generator it also a generator that select that generates the ramp signal okay and oscillator oscillator is nothing but ever a sawtooth waveform generator let it be and the trigger input trigger input is nothing but to change the state of the oscillator okay continuously it uh, suppose oscillator continuously it generates a uh, ramp generator suppose if you are taking continuously it generates a signal like this ramp whenever this uh, trigger pulse occurred again it goes down again it goes like this and whenever the trigger pulse occurred it goes down like this immediately so see here if you um, parallelly see the waveforms and block diagram operation then you can easily understand this entire operation see this is the waveform what you are going to display on the CRT screen and uh, if what I told you, samples of this particular signal, see these samples, the here, here, and here, here. So a sample of the waveform in a cycle is going to be selected and uh, displayed on the vertical reflection system. Now, see, this is the ramp voltage or sweep voltage. This is the ramp voltage. This entire signal is a ramp voltage. <laughs> Okay, so when the ramp voltage changes, whenever the triggering pulse occurred, see here, whenever the trigger pulse occurred, it changes the state. Ramp voltage, ramp is slowly, continuously, it is having an incremental step like this. Whenever the trigger pulse occurs, it goes to the zero. And again, the second cycle continues the same. Whenever the trigger pulse occurred, it goes to zero. Again, whenever trigger pulse occurs, it goes to zero. Like this, the same thing is going to be repeated. Now, another type of generator we have taken that is staircase generator. So, this is the staircase generator. Staircase, staircase, it is like a step. Okay, how we have steps? Same. Here it is a step, again constant. Here it is a step, again constant. So, staircase generator, it is like a sample and hold. So, we have having an incremental and again holding period you are having incremental and again holding period so like this we have a staircase generator now these two outputs are given to a voltage comparator these two output ramp output and as well as this staircase output these two are given to a voltage comparator what is the purpose of voltage comparator 
it compares the two incoming signals whenever these two voltages are equal it produces a sampling pulse okay whenever the voltage of ramp compared ramp generator and voltage of staircase generator these two are equal it produces a sampling pulse see when these two are equal at this particular instant <coughs> Again, it increases like it goes like this, and at this point, what happens? These two are equal. Again, at this point, what happens? These two are equal. Again, at this point, what happens? These two are equal. So wherever I have circled all these states, the ramp voltage and the uh, what is this uh, staircase generator output, these two are having same amplitudes at this particular instant. The voltage comparator produces a sampling pulse. So this is the sampling pulse. See, it is given as sampling pulse. Again, at this particular instant, it produces a sampling pulse. It produces a sampling pulse. It produces a sampling pulse. So, sampling pulse and trigger impulse are very shortest duration pulses. If you observe, sampling pulse, triggering pulses are very shortest duration pulses. What is the purpose of this one? Just it is used to trigger some other device. Okay, this trigger pulse is used to trigger this ramp circuit and the sampling pulse is used to trigger the sampling gate. See, whenever this sampling pulse occurred, it, it is applied to the sampling gate. What is the sampling gate now it will do? So, whenever this sampling pulse occurs, it simply acts as open circuit and the input sample is going to be sent to the vertical amplifier. So, at this particular instant, we have this particular sample. This sample is going to be applied to the vertical amplifier and then vertical reflection gates again whenever the second sample occurs the same thing going to be done again at the third sample again at the fourth sample so what type of waveform we can observe at the output of this oscilloscope this type of waveform okay so this type of waveform we are going to be displayed the in the sampling oscilloscope so as the name clearly tells that a sampling oscilloscope displays the samples of input signal we may have how to reconstruct how to get the original signal after reconstructing all these then we may have the original message signal <coughs> original signal what you are going to display okay so this is what the sampling oscilloscope some topics are also given here uh, some points for this uh, sampling oscilloscope operation also uh, described here in the coming slides. You can go through the theory part. Okay, whatever I have explained orally here, the same points have been covered theoretically. Thank you.